वेलकम एवरीवन मेनी ऑफ यू माइट हैव अपेयर्ड फॉर द जे मेन 2017 एग्जाम इन द ऑफलाइन मोड दैट वाज हेल्ड लास्ट संडे एंड मेनी अदर्स माइट बी गेरिंग अप फॉर द ऑनलाइन मोड ऑफ द बैटल शेड्यूल्ड फॉर द कमिंग वीकेंड सो दिस इज द परफेक्ट टाइम टू गेन सम इंसाइट अबाउट वॉट टू एक्सपेक्ट इन द ऑनलाइन मोड ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन एंड ऑल्सो अबाउट जे एडवांस्ड एग्जाम फ्रेंड्स If we look into the J Main 2017 paper, more specifically the chemistry portion, then we find that this time paper was considerably different than last year, when we had around eight questions, which were somewhat dubious and arguable in nature, but this time paper was free of any such aberrations. Out of the 30 questions that were asked, around 12 were from physical chemistry. means 40% of the share was physical chemistry and 11 questions were from organic chemistry means more than one third of the paper and significantly lesser share was given to inorganic chemistry this time with merely seven questions so we can easily see that this time there was more weightage given to physical chemistry as compared to last year if we look at the grade wise breakup then around 13 questions were there from class 11 syllabus and 17 questions were there from class 12th syllabus though we know that most of the syllabus of chemistry lies on the class 12th side despite that paper was very well balanced covering both class 11th and class 12th syllabus exploring a bit more in further details we see this you can easily see that in this around 12 questions are there from physical Seven are from inorganic and eleven are from organic chemistry. The best part to see is that there is not even a single difficult question in the physical chemistry portion. All the questions were extremely easy, flat, formula based. Means it's only mathematical skills is all what you required to sail through this. And also there was only one easy question in the organic chemistry portion. with majority of them being from class 12th syllabus so if we talk about physical chemistry then this time there were around straight forward questions from chapter of mole concept atomic structure where you only needed to calculate the second uh, radius and apart from that thermodynamics question was based on delta u and reaction enthalpy and one question from ionic equilibrium and there was no question from chemical equilibrium as well similarly there was extremely easy questions from solid state which is directly a result based question which we generally do in the illustrations in the class and chemical kinetics question arrhenius equation based question solutions and electrochemistry uh, chapters which are generally lengthier which involves numerical but this time there was theory based questions from electrochemistry you had to simply find the strongest reducing agent and this is the general format which has become in the last few years if we see then from surface chemistry a th simple theoretical question from tyndall effect was also asked and from solutions there was question from degree of dissociation apart from this there was one question from environmental chemistry which was somewhat very similar to the one asked last year moving on to the inorganic chemistry portion we see that generally chemical bonding is the biggest portion of inorganic chemistry but this time two extremely easy questions from paramagnetic nature and isoelectronic species was asked coordination compounds from which generally the questions are asked about iupac nomenclature hybridization isomerism but this time it was clubbed with mole concept and the resulting question was extremely easy so bearing just two questions the rest of the part of inorganic chemistry was extremely easy and fairly doable now if we talk about organic chemistry then we can safely say that this time it was organic chemistry which really stole the show of the entire paper means most of the questions were really challenging and interesting required thorough amount of brainstorming and just two questions from class 11th which were based on resonance stability and from isomerism stereo isomerism were only easy apart from that rest of the questions required good amount of thinking and analysis if we look into the paper then we see that the favorite areas of the cbse 
uh, were those which were thoroughly covered like SN1 reactivity order, nitration reaction in which you had to form the meta product and Grignard reagent question from carbonyl compounds. These are the favorite areas of CBSE which were asked. Also, there were three questions which were entirely based on the reaction mechanism and only one chapter was there of alcohol, phenol and ethers which was not touched directly. Otherwise, rest all the chapters were touched including biomolecules and polymers. So, the final verdict of Merit Nation says that paper this time was very much well balanced than last year as it covered almost every chapter. And also this time paper was relatively more scorable because physical chemistry which generally takes a lot of time in calculations and rigorous uh, mathematical skills are required. This time fairly easy, flat, direct formula based questions were asked from this physical chemistry portion. Organic chemistry was reasonably good, a bit of challenging and interesting for students. There were few good questions as well. Apart from that, inorganic chemistry was extremely easy. Uh, doable within minutes. So that was all from my side. All the best.